y'all ever think about it but when it comes to white rappers why is it usually only one that's popping off like at a time back then it was jack harlow you know he had his little run i can't tell you another white rapper that was out now it's net spend net spends you know he's he's kind of a little bit falling off i mean i still think some people like him and now it's ian ian blew up out of fucking nowhere but like just for instance there hasn't been multiple white rappers that i've just been on the come up at the same time it's always one comes up one comes down and i just wanted to kind of take a deep dive into who are some of the good white rappers there's you know eminem there's there's some others i don't want to say too much but anyways hope y'all enjoy the video <laughs> The first artist I'm going to be talking about, and uh, I feel like it's the one that paved the wave for the white rappers, Vanilla Ice. When it comes to Vanilla Ice, I'm gonna be honest, I can't tell you shit. Uh, I mean, he was way too old for me. Like, I was still swimming in my daddy's nutsack by the time he was making music and then stopped making music. I was still in my daddy's nutsack. But... Vanilla Ice, I, he did pave the wave. He had the swag, you know, of a white rapper. He was out there stand hustling. He, he was um, he was one. I was about to say can't touch this, but I don't think that that's him. That's definitely not him. Vanilla Ice definitely set the gra ground rules and paved the way for these white rappers to come up on the scene. Besides that, I can't tell you shit. Some of his music is so dog shit, and then some of his music, so great I, I don't understand really what's the big difference i don't even know if he's white london i think london's considered their own fucking race um but uh does nest bend the the fact is he has great songs but you gotta you gotta kind of like look don't get me wrong his hits are his hits but when it comes to just you diving through his discography the amount of bullshit that's in but Best Ben's pretty cool. I like his music uh, a lot better than Vanilla Ice. All that old bullshit. Yippity bippity boppity. I went to the to the store and I got me some chocolatey. <laughs> Next rapper we're going to be talking about, Jack Harlow. Honestly, I really was fucking with like young Jack Harlow. Shout out to my friend. I'm gonna link his YouTube in the description. Dusty Buns. He put me on to a lot of young Jack Harlow before he really did blow up. Like I said, when What's Poppin' came out, that shit was cool. The remix, cool. You know, the baby did his thing, Lil Wayne, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I felt like once he started to get that Drake feature, bro, that's that's when his music started to take a downturn. He went way too mainstream real quick. Don't get me wrong, I feel like that's every artist's goal just to go mainstream because you know you fucking you're making millions now once you hit mainstream but music wise it just wasn't for me anymore uh it just it hit it was trying to hit too much of like my mom's demographic which his new song put your loving on me my fucking mom loves that song oh my god i can i i can't even tell you how many times my mom's asked me to play it in the car i don't get it like, realistically, I don't understand all that hype behind that song. But anyways, you know what? Everybody's music opinion is different. So, get the fuck off my dick. Uh, that's really all I gotta kind of say about Jack Harlow. I mean, what really first comes to my mind, he uh, had great music when it when he was first starting. Kind of got a little bit too much mainstream. Drake gave him a BBL. And now, look at he's mainstream as fuck. So, that's Jack Harlow. <laughs> now, here's another rapper I'm going to make a crazy poll of slim jesus don't get me wrong when his shit first came out bro but he blew up that shit was crazy but what really killed him and if you do know about slim jesus the fact that he did an interview just saying everything is fake because he didn't want to get caught up in the whole uh, you know hood life gang life i don't even you know really know i live in the burbs but he didn't want to get caught in all that so he ends up just saying, yeah, no, all of my lyrics are fake. And now this is fake. Because he was this hard-ass white boy flashing guns, showing money. Oh, yeah, yeah, fucking bitches. But um, comes to find out, he ain't do none of that. He motherfucker just sat at home. He was like, no, no, it's a lie. Yep, lie. And uh, ever since then, when he really said that uh, 
all that shit's a lie. I really think everybody just stopped giving a fuck about him. Next white rapper I'm going to be talking about, obviously, Eminem. I mean, there's so much to talk about Eminem. And really, honestly, for the majority, it's all good. Jesus Christ, I said this was hard as shit to form. I don't know why. Um, Eminem has honestly been the staple for white rappers, for white rappers to replicate, duplicate, and then try to just apply. Eminem, he had the swag. He was able to be marketable. He could rap. He could do it all, honestly. You know what? And you know what? He might be a little bit black. He might be a little bit black. Just the way he raps. But Eminem really did pave the way for, honestly, low-key rappers in general. I mean, Eminem kind of took the next step for Detroit rappers and just pushing the sound in general and did a perfect part in that because he would go kind of like crazy with his bars and the part of saying like fucked up shit. And now that's really what Detroit is kind of known for is rapping about fucked up shit, but making it sound good. I mean, take an instance for Rio, RMC Mike, Babytron, which we'll definitely be talking about. They they all they all have funny bars and they are a little bit fucked up, but that's the point of the bar. It's fucked up, so it's funny. That made me kind of sound a little bit crazy, but uh, scratch that, you know. But yeah, no, Eminem really did push the way for the the uh, honestly rap community in general. He uh, he did have a little bit of fumbles going towards the end of his career, but obviously, you know, not everybody can be LeBron putting up crazy stats at 40 um somebody go fucking drug test that guy anyways it. for the last white rapper i can really think of that's coming to my mind i sent him already baby tron baby tron is honestly might be one of my favorite white rappers i honestly don't even know he's not even white i think he's like he might be like 50 50 he might be light-skinned but you know he's still got some white in him and i don't give a fuck you know, I just need some more rappers to talk about. But Baby Tron is my probably my favorite white rapper. He's got the versatility of his rapping. He's got great beats. And you know what that makes? A pussy. No. But um Baby Tron, he's 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 perfect. I mean, I'm kinda like just thinking about him like twiddling my feet down here, but uh he's great. Yeah, for if you guys really do want to go give him a listen, fuck it. I wouldn't tell you not to, but that's all I got for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed. I know I've been a little bit inconsistent on posting. That's uh, that's me. You know, just been trying to work, 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 work. But I gotta realize this is my work. So I don't know some of y'all really do appreciate when I post. I know uh, some of you tell me you like my videos. Some of you don't even talk to me anymore. And then others blocked me. But uh I hope you guys just have a great day. And uh one moral and one message for you guys. Read a book. I feel like there's a lot of us that are just stuck on social media. Read a book. <laughs>